Hello students, welcome to the online class. Myself, Sudha Kares, Professor in Cambridge Institute of Technology. Now we will explain the Engineering Physics Laboratory Experiment, Newton's Rings. Now, what is a Newton's Rings? Newton's Rings are the alternative bright and dark concentric circular rings obtained by using the interference pattern. Now, we will explain the Newton's Rings experiment. What are the operators required? We will see here. Now the apparatus is, there is a trawling microscope setup. This is a screw gauge type trawling microscope setup and sodium vapor light we are using here, the sodium vapor light and the plane of convex lens we are using here. Now what we need to find in this experiment, got it now? Here we are using as a lens, that is a plane of convex lens. What is the aim of the experiment? To determine the radius of curvature of the given plane of convex lens by using Newton's rings method. Got it now? By using the Newton's rings method. And the operators we have seen. Now, before going to explain the Newton's rings here, we will observe the rings in the setup, whether we got the rings in the setup or not. If you observe here, the concentric circular rings you will get. The concentric circular rings. If you observe here, alternative bright and dark concentric circular rings you will get. See here, concentric circular rings, alternative bright and dark rings. These rings are the Newton's rings and there is an eyepiece in the traveling microscope. The center one we have considered from there to you just consider left side and right side. Okay, when you note down the readings, okay, here only you need to note down here. The crossover you need to moving from from center ring to left side and center ring to right side. Got it now? If you observe the tabular column here, this is a Newton's rings setup. See the rings how you got it? Like this only. This is a dark central ring and this is a left side readings and this is a right side readings. You need to note down the readings from left side 12, 10, 8, 4, 2 like that. Similarly, you can move it for right side. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, like that. Is it clear now? These are the rings we are calling as a Newton's rings. Now, before note down in the Newton's rings readings, here the tabular column we will observe. Okay, in the tabular column, see here the tabular column is this one. The ring number, left side readings, right side readings, pitch scale, head scale and total reading. Got it now? Here to find the total reading, here we have given a formula that is, if you just observe here, TR equals PSR plus HSR into LC. Because the total reading you need to note down in the tabular column. First, you need to know the total reading formula is PSR plus HSR into LC that is in the millimeter. Yes, here PSR is a pitch scale reading, HSR is a head scale reading and LC is the least count. First, here to find the total reading, we need to find the pitch here. What is the pitch? Pitch is distance moved on the pitch scale divided by number of rotations on the head scale. Got it now? Now when you observe the traveling microscope, if you observe it here, this part, this one we have considered as a pitch scale. See here the readings what they have given, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40 like that, they have given this scale is the pitch scale. And here the rotation, this is a rotation option they have given. This one we have considered as a head scale. The head scale, the total number of divisions is, see, just observe here, 0, okay, 10, 20, 30, like that. The total number of divisions on the head scale is 100. Got it now? Once we just come back to pitch here, distance moved on the pitch scale divided by number of rotations on the head scale. Got it now? In the pitch, if I rotate the head scale in the 5 rotations from 0 to 100, 5 times if I rotate it here, in the pitch scale, the 5 mm it will be moving. The distance moved on the pitch scale is 5 mm. Hence, the pitch you will get 1. 5 divided by 5 you will get 1. Similarly, if we give one 10 rotations, the 10 mm, got it now? The 10 mm will be moving on the pitch scale. Okay, just example I have considered here, the pitch value you will get 1. 
later you need to calculate you need to calculate the least count there is a formula for the least count pitch divided by total number of divisions on the head scale just now we have calculated the pitch the pitch value should be 1 and the total number of divisions on the head scale is 100 now 1 by 100 if you do it you will get 0 0.01 mm got it now now once again we just observe here in the trawling microscope this is the pitch scale this is the head scale got it now this is a pitch and this is the head now if i rotate this one okay how many number of rotations i am giving here like this the similarly the number of divisions it will be moving on the pitch scale got it now the pitch value we got it and the least count value we got it now already we know the rings in the already we know the rings in the traveling microscope in the eyepiece we have seen we have seen the rings in the traveling microscope the from center ring to left side you need to focus it if you focus it the cross wire it will be moving from center to the left side the cross wire if you observe here if you observe see here the cross wire it is moving from center ring to the left side 12th ring i am adjusting got it now after adjusting left side 12th reading you need to note down the readings here you need to note down the readings here that is the pitch scale the pitch scale value we will get here that is a 45 see here from 0 10 20 30 like that where the zero indicated okay that uh, that line will be exactly coinciding which division that is your pitch scale that is a 45 we got it similarly you need to observe here you need to observe here the value of head scale the value of head scale we will get here that is a 59 now if you substitute both the values in the tabular column for the ring number 12 pitch scale is 45 and head scale is 59 and after multiplying the formula we know that P total reading equals PSR plus HSR into LC after simplifying we will get 45.59 for example, I will explain only one complete ring for both the left side and right side. These are the readings we got it in the left side. The total reading TR we will consider as a X1 that is in the MM. Similarly, we will move on to the right side. The crosswire you need to move it for from right side 12th reading. Okay. If you focus it, the PSR value we will get 40 and HSR value we will get 44. Hence, the total reading we will get 40.44 that we will consider as a x2. Got it now? We want the difference between left side and right side that we will consider as a diameter. That is the diameter we will consider d equals x1 minus x2 or x2 minus x1. Both are in the mm. Hence, the value we will get this minus this. If you do it, you will get 5.15 that is in the mm. Later, the value you need to square it that's a d square in the millimeter square if you multiply 5.15 you will get 26.52 generally i'm explaining one particular value whatever value you will get the same thing you need to multiply when you do your experiment similarly once you will get the d square actually the unit of radius of curvature is in the meter that you need to convert it to meter see here d square is in the meter square 26.52 into 10 to the power minus 6 once you will get entire complete readings of the readings, entire complete readings of the readings here rings, that is the ring number 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. Okay, both the left side and right side readings. Once all the calculations is over, now we need to plot the graph for the ring number versus ring number versus diameter value. Got it now? Just this is a model graph we have shown here. If you observe here, see here. This is a ring number, the ring number from 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, like that I have considered in the x-axis and y-axis I have considered in the 1, 2, 3, 4. What is now? Now if we plot whatever readings you got it according to the experiment, if you plot it in the graph, see here, I have considered ring number in the x-axis and diameter in the y-axis, you will get the points in this right line. Okay, after making the points, you just join all the points and anywhere you just draw two lines see here i have considered here the ring number is a 4 and the ring number is 10 i have considered here anywhere in between these straight line you just consider two lines similarly where it will cut off in the y axis you just draw 
lines okay here you need to note down the m value and n value here the m value i got it as a 4 and the n value i got it as a 10 and similarly if we consider here d m square the d m square value we got it as a 8.6 and here the d n square value we got it as a 21.4 once you can note down both the values d m square minus d n square and n minus m n minus m you just come back to the formula there is a formula here the newton's rings are the newton's rings are a equals d n square minus d m square whole divided by 4 into n minus m into lambda here already we have note down the readings in d n square value and d m square value the difference is just 21.4 and 8.6 and n minus m the difference of this value should be 10 minus 4 you will get 6 and here the lambda is the wavelength okay which wavelength this one sodium light wavelength there is a standard value 5, 5893 into 10 to the power minus 10 if we substitute and if you calculate this one we will get the radius of curvature is 0.9 meter got it now now we need to find the result here the radius of curvature of the given plano convex lens is 0.9 meter the unit also the radius of curvature is meter only at last here the value we will get exact here actually there is a different convex lens having a different radius of curvature got it now here we got it as a 0.9 meter there is an area equals to 1 the exact value we have kept it here is a 1 but experimentally when we done the experiment we will get as a 0.9 meter thank you